Welcome back to the show, the Be A Pros show. This has not gone very well. So I tried to record last night this Boston Bruins game and uh, my recording software again glitched out. I don't have any other choice. So just so you know, it's just so you know, I'm using an Elgato game capture, but it's like an older game capture model. It's not a more recent one. And I've tried to use Streamlabs OBS, if you know what that is. I've tried to use other recording softwares with it and it just won't recognize the game capture. The only software that recognizes the game capture is the actual game capture software itself. And for some reason, I've had issues with the game capture software you know, on my computer just recording videos. It'll freeze mid-recording and I'll, I, I won't be able to save it. I can't salvage any recording. Anyway, now that I got that out of the way and you kind of know what's up, this Bruins game didn't go very well. I realized what was happening midway through uh, the game and it was a, it was going bad. I think I gave up like five goals and then I got yanked. And I mean, it was, it was a pretty good game for the first period. It was pretty intense. There were some intense saves, so you're not missing too much. But that game, I just wanted to let you know, it's going to be missing, but it's not like it's a big deal. We pick up here in Calgary and well, we're not starting. I don't think we're starting this game. We got to sim past this date, but I just thought I'd let you know what's up. Coach Blake, is my misery over? Is my suffering done? Is it over? He's just going to come in here and berate me for playing really poorly. There's no help here coming. No AHL time. Just you're playing poorly, but we're going to leave you up here. Finally, our first home start since we were drafted by the Hurricanes. This is our first home start. It comes on December 18th. This is our first start at home. We've played a few games. The save percentage has bumped up. We came in, I'm assuming, in relief for Frederick Anderson. The season has not gone too hot. We are one of the worst teams in the league. We're 30th place in the league with a 10, 14, and 6 record. Yep. The tank for Bedard is on right now in Carolina. Oh, finally, a start at home in PNC Arena. It's taken this long, December 18th against the Pittsburgh Penguins, and we're a struggling team right now in the league. And I got to go up against Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins, but we start at home. It's a start on home ice, finally. And maybe I can get the gears going in the right direction in this game. A few notes, though. We have changed the AI tab in the sliders. We tweaked a few things before this game. I also have boosted attribute effects from 5 of 10 to 8 of 10. So, a few changes. Maybe it helps the game play out already. Pesci, a shot that misses the net. Picked up by Ajo on the boards. I'm really not ashamed that you missed that Bruins game because it didn't go very good. Maybe we can play a better game here. We've made the first save. Oh, that's unfair. That is so unfair. We're not going to see a replay of that, are we? No. No, so we'll just break it down in the instant replay. All right, so Dumoulin's going to take this shot off of Svechnikov, and it goes in the corner, and it bounces down. I want to explain my thinking. So Russ gets it behind the net. Obviously, I have to respect the wraparound because you never know. The AI might wrap it around. That's why I come back to this post. Do you see the way that I commit to this post? Well, I'm overlapping it. I'm really overcommitted. Gensel gets a one-timer. And you see how much net I'm giving up by doing this. But it's because I have to respect the wraparound. And at the same time, the one-timer. It's just Im it's nearly impossible to play all of the options that the AI has. They just, they're going to put it in the back of the net if you give them enough net. Well, a brutal start at home. Didn't take the Penguins very long to strike first in this game. I'm not surprised. There was never going to be a shutout coming. In fact, our first shutout may not come for a few seasons. It took us like three seasons didn't it? Or did it take us two seasons? In NHL 22, it took us like a few seasons to get our first shutout. Again, I go back to, I can't say this enough, 70 overall playing in the NHL. Don't stand a chance. And that's just in front. Kotkaniemi in the slot, handed off for Jarvis. He had the best chance of this game for the Hurricanes. Everything kind of perimeter based right now. We're trying to force it into the slot, but it's just not working out. Been a slow start right now for the Hurricanes, especially in terms of offensive chances. A dump in after gaining the blue line, so very interesting play there. Seen some big hits early. Crosby to Russ. This is a line I just don't want to face. Giordano blocked the shot down. The Crosby line still trying to do work. Someone's got to pick it up. It's behind you, Svechnikov. 
but picked up a save I think we just made. I'm not sure who we made that on, Gensel. That actually allowed him to get time in. If only they had connected on that. It's a good try to force it on the, on the back door. Jarvis picks it up in the corner where he's crunched a bit. Jarvis in front in the slot area. That's the idea, but no execution. Oh, a glove save at the top of the crease. Was not on angle for that save, but I'll take it. Well, who's going to get us on the board first? No one does in this occasion. And Casey DeSmith has it. Kapanen is back on the Penguins, the team he was originally drafted by. It's been an interesting tra trajectory for him. He was drafted by Pittsburgh, went to Toronto, and then ended up back in Pittsburgh. And there is a great chance. That was, I think, Jesper Fast right in front. Wow, one seven and two in our last 10. That's just bloody awful. Unless Frederick Anderson is not in the net, this is just a bad season for this Hurricanes team. I, I don't even know if it really matters who's in the net. If Freddie is in the net and this team's playing that poorly, I don't think it even matters if I'm tending the crease. We can't win games for anything. Gets it up to Zucker, a save. We were ready for that. So we're running out of time in this first period. Not been a very eventful first period, really, for either team, but the Penguins have the lead in this game. They have the only goal in this game. It came on a one-timer from low to high. We have got to make some adjustments. There has got to be some serious strategic adjustments offensively. That was a decent look for Jesper Fast. Pedersen just a pull-up shot. Back door. How did we make a save? We just made a brilliant save on Brian Rust. And there's another glove save for good measure to help the save percentage out a little bit. That's Sidney Crosby. I don't want him to shoot it. Teravainen will carry it through center as the period is going to just expire. And we get a lucky break that we didn't give up anything more than the one goal. You see the one goal that was scored right here. Gensel on the one-timer. Well, Pedersen makes a really good feed to the back door to Rust. Actually, Zucker gets in the way a little bit. But look at all the net he has. And for I'm telling you, this glove has been magical this season. That might be a thumbnail. What a lucky save to make. And we can't control it. But at least we keep it out. Well, second period action about to get underway. This is a very special game for me. Being the hometown kid, playing for the hometown team at home in PNC Arena. I just have to play a, a good game. And Brian Rust made this one count. Well, there's a great start to the period. Crosby pass. Where's the defense doing? What, is, what, are, they, what are they doing? Three guys entirely focused on Crosby they completely forget about rust so this becomes a 2 on 0 basically I want you to see this it's basically a 2 on 0 because the defense is caught flat-footed so pretty easy backdoor feed I have to respect the shot but the shot never comes here and then there's the pass to the back door I should have butterflied and did we come close to making a save not really God save this season it's, <laughs> it's this season is a lost cause it feels like the career mode might be that way as well at times. Well, the Brian Russ goal kind of makes up for the fact that he should have scored in the second or at the end of the first period, but he opens the scoring in the second period for the Penguins. We just we have a tough time at the start of periods, apparently, because that first one in the game came early in the first period. The second one comes early in the second period. Didn't get any defensive help, although I can't entirely blame my defense for that one, but I'm blaming anyone and everyone that I can if I can get away with it. Oh my god. I hate when it gets blocked like that because then it deflects and it changes direction in a very erratic way. What a move by Tara Vinen. Paid the price for it and a save off Svechnikov. We just aren't getting any good looks. Oh my god. We can't make a save on Bluger. Why do we do that falling on our butt animation? And I'm not going to overcommit to this post this time. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I don't even know if I can handle the shot from outside because it's so er erratic. Not erotic, erratic. What would be erotic is if we could make just simple saves in this game. And the Smith will cover this one up. Lots of passing just right now. No shots, no conviction right now from the Hurricanes. That's the best we do. That poor angle shot from Neches. Well, the fans are trying their hardest. Uh, the team in front of me, I can't say the same. Back to fast. Stall picks up the loose puck. It's so sloppy. This is me. This is going to be me. And here you go. Best of luck with that. Slavin having a really tough time right there. Martinuk is just standing, waiting for that puck to get to him. He takes a slap shot from there. If that goes in, it almost could have. Oh, oh! how did I make a save there? I was pushing right into that shot. And that, no, 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 no. No low to highs. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a great save with the spread eagle. Jake Gensel, loose puck play. Oh my. Wow, that's a sensational blocker save. This is the new thumbnail right here. What a save. <laughs> Well, even if I can't perform very well, I can still entertain, and we just proved it with that big save on Gensel. And a simple one from Gensel. I know we retreated a touch back in our crease. Where's the offense? That's my question. It's gone missing. We need to put up missing posters around the arena for the offense. Oh, no, no shot on net, but it ends up out the other side to Marino. That one also goes behind the net and out the other side. Can we do something? Ajo scores! He picks up a loose puck, and he finds a way to beat DeSmith, or whoever's in the net. I can't even remember. I think it is DeSmith. And he finds a way to beat him on the short side. It was a blocker side goal. You see D'Angelo loses on the carry in, and then Ajo picks him up and scores. And we've got a new lights animation when we score. That's very nice. Just the fourth goal for Sebastian Ajo here in mid to late December. That's a shocker. Well, may have found the source of all of our problems. Sebastian Ajo is not performing like, well, Sebastian Ajo. And now Coach Kinami to Jarvis, saved by DeSmith. Yeah, it is Casey DeSmith. And we do have to bite the bullet on the season. This is the 30th place team in the entire NHL. It's just going to be the kind of season it's going to be. And then a great chance for Natchez, forced wide. Jarvis back to Coach Kinami, who's at the point. Natchez is saved by DeSmith. A good look in the slot area. Well, before the Ajo goal, it had just been a shameful offensive performance. It still kind of is, but we've picked up the pace a little bit since then. We've got a few decent opportunities. I'm assuming there's going to be a feed to the back door. What was that shot? Never mind. No feed to the back door needed. Oh, I'll cover this. Yep, best idea is just to hold on to this. Take Gensel back to the point. Dumoulin, we can attack the puck, but it's behind us. Here, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Or there you go, Pesci. I helped you out. Give me the apple. Man, that's such a bold thing to do, but... I mean, if you're not going to go pick it up, I'll go pick it up in this game. Crosby, a very Crosby-like move. Delicious as ever. Two big saves right there in a row. Crosby, that's my fault. I came off my angle. I am so dumb. I just helped make Crosby's amazing Hall of Fame stats a little bit easier with that one. That was completely my fault for moving. This is a learning experience, okay? I got to learn through difficult times it's gonna be this is what's gonna mold me into the goaltender i will become and that's gonna be the end of the third period second period i wish it was the end of the third period Ugh. i would love to put makeup on this game but you, you i don't think you could put enough makeup on this game to make it look any better it's it's bad this game is real bad three goals on 13 shots i think we may just need to have a lower difficulty until the overall rating is there. And I don't want to do that, but I may just have to eat it and just drop the difficulty because it's just too much. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming, and I don't help myself by pulling myself off the post accidentally when the puck's not even at a dangerous area. We'll just hold on. Here you go. I'll, I'll just play it. Why not? The missing posters also need to go up for my save percentage because it's gone in this game. Oh, wow. I'm, at least catch the puck. I mean... I'm glad we made the save. It's a start. Can't complain when we are making the saves. I got bumped into there. Rust. A penalty. We've taken probably a hook. And it's a slash, actually. It, I usually... And it's Jacob Slavin. I usually try to guess. And if I guess slash, it's a hook. If I guess a hook, it's a slash. But anyway, at least he's not slamming the bio steel bottle. He's just drinking out of it. As if I needed the challenge to get any more difficult. Now we have to go on a penalty kill against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, man. Oh! We're going to go for this shorthanded. And this Smith with a save popped out to Achari. Why did he play that right to Noel Achari? Well, the Hurricanes have been the aggressor on the penalty kill right now. I like to see that. I just, I wouldn't mind getting a few shots that are easy to save at least. Just to get the save percentage back into a reasonable realm. We still have a minute of kill left, but the Penguins have hardly possessed it. They won't possess it now. Shea out the other end. Latang at center. How is the penalty kill this good and the defense as a whole as bad as they are? Oh, get on our feet. Get on our feet. It's it's somewhere. There we go. Hold on to that. Take a whistle. Nothing wrong with it. Now, imagine if I didn't let Sidney Crosby score. They, this game would be completely different feeling. So it's 13 saves on 16 shots right now. So that's still not even close to where we need to be. Three goals on 22, 23 shots would be... I could live with that. I could handle that. 
Yeah, now over the net, torched right off the off the glass behind us. The puck at Bluger to Crosby saved that Crosby opportunity. Now we got to just look for offense. I don't care about save percentage as much as just trying to get this game tied. It's going to take a hell of an effort to get two goals in 12 minutes. Say what? Oh no! How did that beat us? I was there on the short side. I am legitimately so confused as to how this got past us. I mean, we're there. There's nothing to shoot at, really. Is there? I mean, there can't be that much to shoot at. We go to drop. Is that what it is? How do you expose that much net? How was... Oh, my God. Oh, I'm dropping the difficulty. Screw this. Oh, Brian Russ cheese that one right past me. I can't believe it. I felt like I had the short side cut off entirely, and yet... I, that was garbage. Oh, I got this. Shot on... Oh, my God. He has got some serious hops to be able to knock that out of the air. All right, well, forget about this game. Forget about getting the save percentage to be at least reasonable given the low shots we've seen. We score, Code Kaniemi, but I feel like it's all for naught. Three goals in this third period to tie it now, having given up that fourth one. I just don't think it's going to be happening. It, it was a shot that was deflected and loose. The perfect positioning of Code Kaniemi in front of the net allowed him to just bang that one home with no problem. Aho was getting all of his points this year on assists. He has 24 of them. We need that guy in the crowd screaming, shoot. They should probably take his advice right now because all they've done is whip it around. All right, well, Carolina has been given their first power play of the game. It couldn't come at a more opportune time here in the third period where we're going to need one. I'm not sure if this is going to get cleared. Oh, Teravainen kept it in. What a brilliant play. I didn't see that happen. Kapanen flips it out. Not a bad idea. I'm going to have to get this behind the net. And with my poor history, I probably shouldn't even be playing this, but there you go. Bluger flips it. I can't get there. Oh, that was... I didn't want to pass it. I wanted to rim it up the glass to someone. Well, the Penguins have possessed it more on this power play than we have. Latang again. I couldn't even play that one if I wanted to. Where, where are you going? Svechnikov from behind the net. Maybe he's trying that lacrosse move. One-timer off the mark. Cleared by Latang. Oh, it's right here. <gasps> what? Okay, does anyone remember NHL 22 when I had a bad bounce off of me into the wide open net? This is probably why you stay in the net. I get a, I get so lucky because I come out to play this. I'm just trying to stop it, and it hits the outside of the pad, and it deflects. Oh my god! <laughs> it rolls. Off the post and out right to Pesci. I couldn't have gotten a crazier, better bounce. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was going in. That's why I just stopped and froze. Well, nearly just scored on myself. Got a good break. The power play has not gotten a good break. It's just sent right back in. The Penguins are in full conservation mode right now. And the guy right back out of the box. Wasted opportunity with a man advantage. Ajo is... Sent to a different century on that hit. Zucker missed the net there. Matheson down low to Carter. Shot saved. We were on angle for that. We got to go for offense, guys. Four minutes left. Goalie pull is coming up soon. Not quite yet, but it will be happening. Natchez, Code Kanemi. It would be cool if we could pull me with one goal. Down only by one goal, I mean. Well, we've taken a delayed penalty as well. Just... It's been that type of game. It's been that type of game. And what did he do? He, he, did it say charging? I didn't see what the referee said. It is charging, yes. Place your bets. Place your bets now. How many goals? Oh, not how many goals, but do the Penguins score on this power play? Yes. <laughs> Crosby. Didn't take any time. I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Nightmare first start in this building. Nightmare start. Nightmare game. We're in over our heads. No, 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 no. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Goal coming up. Yeah, I sh I'm just pissed off. Screw this. The message has been sent to management. Send me down. It, I, I can't state it enough. Maybe I can get the line score to dip enough that they actually will send me down. Highly doubtful, though. Uh, <laughs> this series is going to take a toll on my mental health. No, I'm just kidding. But it is retro night. Here in Raleigh, as you can tell. Okay, so 
The actual alternate jerseys are not in the game yet, but we do have basically what they're based off of. So we're wearing those, yes, but they're made by Reebok. So just ignore that Reebok pa uh, part of it. And uh, yeah, we're, we're having retro night in PNC Arena against the Blackhawks. We've dropped the difficulty down to pro difficulty just to see if maybe it can alleviate some of the problems we have, which is basically just comes down to making saves. <laughs> yeah, the Hurricanes brought this jersey back as a third jersey and they'll be wearing it for a few games this season. I think actually Chicago is one of the opponents they wear this jersey against. I can't remember. But anyway, I just wanted to have Retro Night basically by bringing back the originals, the best jersey this team ever wore. I'm telling you, I saw this jersey on opening night in person, and it looks great. I don't know why this isn't just the standard primary home threads. Well, the offense was a big problem for us in the last game, but Sveshnikov scores short side right out of the gate, opens up the scoring for the Hurricanes, and we've taken the one to nothing lead. There it is, the dish off to Svechnikov. It looks like it's a short side. The goalie didn't even react. I've looked worse than that on many saves. Thomas Grice in the Chicago net. Gosh, Patrick Kane is very close to Ovechkin on the goal scoring tally. So we're going to have to watch number 88. Unless he's not here anymore. I didn't really pay attention to see if Kane is still here in Chicago. Well, offensive problems may be alleviated. It's probably going to be a product of dropping the difficulty by one. We'll probably have better games offensively. What in the world was that? Did you see Jonathan the Taves? He had a rage fit over there on, I think it was Martin Neches. What was that about? He was, he was absolutely, absolutely going ballistic. He was going ballistic. <laughs> yeah, that's a penalty. You can't do that. So that puts us on an, on an early power play. Maybe we can get ourselves a two goal advantage. I'm going to come out and do this at my own risk, okay? And you guys have got to get up the boards, please. There you go. Okay, maybe not. And we've taken a penalty right away. So maybe me rimming that up the glass wasn't the smartest of, this, of decisions. Coach Kniemi has taken a slashing penalty, so this is going to make things go to four on four. Yeah, you pick up and slam down that bio steel bottle. I, it's a waste of energy, in my opinion. And, yeah, this penalty was also a waste of energy. Should have never done that. How does the team play out four on four? It looks like number 88, Patrick Kane, is in fact out there for the Blackhawks. So he's still here. And he knocks down the pass at center ice. So now Ryan Strom or Dylan Strom. Oh my God, a brilliant save on Kane. So speak of Patrick Kane, we make a brilliant glove save, outstretched. And Kane, again, we stop him cold there. Okay, the Blackhawks have really turned it up at four on four. I don't think this is how... We want to play this game. Picked up by P.K. Subban in Chicago. An interesting one. Well, I'm finally glad to be getting some home starts. I just hope that this one goes better than the one against Pittsburgh we just had. We bodied down Kane's shot. He's already taken like three shots on us. Remember, Kane is second in the league in goal scoring, so we're going to have to be sharp when he has the puck. Be aware that he's going to shoot it, and he's going to shoot it to score. This is Strom off to McKay. Probably going to shoot. Pad save. And we're right in front of it. We don't have to worry about the rebound too much. So our penalty, or the Blackhawks penalty expired. They're on an abbreviated power play. If we just clear it, we should be done after we make a good glove save. The glove hand has been magical this season so far. And we've killed it off. Jarvis has the retrieval. Just go to the net. Go to the net, son. I don't know what he's doing there. He had all that space to just drive it right to the net. Held on to it and a turnover. I can't get to that. Here, you got it. I'm so slow. My movement is terrible. Aho oh, right to the net, but hand it off to Jarvis. Why would you give it to Jarvis? He hasn't been able to make a clear-cut decision all night. Perron to Kirby, Doc, and we guessed wrong. I hate whenever I have to face a breakaway. So there goes the shutout, and it was just it was Kirby, Doc in all alone, basically. So here's Kirby, Doc at center ice. You see him right there. There's the puck on the boards. Now what in the world is... So who's this behind him? That's Seth Jarvis. Where's the other defenseman? I think the other defenseman is stepping up with Sebastian Ajo. We're caught defensively on this play because watch Pesci. He goes, he, instead of playing the passing lane, he goes right to the puck carrier and he gets caught defensively. What kind of defensive play is that? Kirby Doc is like all alone in the slot area. So I have to guess 
I was figuring he was going to shoot it on the forehand right here to the glove side. So I cheated that way. It backfired, obviously, and I exposed that part of the net and he tucks it. I'm not trying to pin all the blame on defensive breakdowns, but a lot of the problems that I've had this season with giving up goals have come from defensive breakdowns like the one we just saw on the Kirby Doc goal. I can live with it. I just I don't want to see anything like that for the rest of this game if we can help it. So Jonathan Tay is back on the ice after he had a tantrum with Martin Neches. I don't know why they make phone books anymore. Everything's online, right? Yeah! Tantrum! tantrum! Nice spin move. I know what they were trying to do, but Seth Jones played that brilliantly. Taves with possession. He's going to basically skate in. Guys, what is going on tonight with these defensive breakdowns? Another one. I don't know if I can do a whole season of this. This is just nonsensical. What are you guys doing out here? I feel like EA has definitely changed something with the gameplay because I was forced to download a gameplay update yesterday. And I feel I swear something has definitely changed with this game. It does not play as fun as it used to. All right, we make a save. We just need to make them make as many as we can. You need to get net front drive, net front drive, and a shot. That would be my preference. Oh, look at this again. Perron in. Oh my God! Why was I in spread eagle? I didn't want to be in spread eagle. I could gouge my eyeballs out with this controller right now. It is. It's so frustrating right now. I keep telling myself it will be worth it to just get through season one. If we can just get through season one. Oh my God. Here, 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 go. Well, I'm gonna go and tell you we're going back to the original camera angle after this period expires. I just, I can't do this. I can't keep doing this. This series is gonna drive me to insanity. Oh my God. This is just, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do. Here. Have fun with that. I said it. I told you I was going to do it. Fixed camera is back. It's back now in a big way. Maybe we play better with this. It was funny because I came into that Winnipeg game with the fixed camera on. And then I changed the camera to high or whatever it was. And we played really good in the third period. And I, I thought, okay, well, we'll just stick with that camera because we played really well. And I've played really poorly with the high camera ever since. So we're going right back to fix. I, I can't make my mind up. I just want a basic solution to all of my problems in this game. Preference would be not to let the puck bounce right to someone for the other team. Oh boy, here comes Patrick Kane again. Thank you, Jacob Slavin. Well, I'm proud to report that it looks like at least the game capture software is working for this game so far. It hasn't done anything to me right now but of course we should probably knock on wood skate in and shoot it Giordano there you go that's that was a decent look see what you can do when you make up your mind wow that just said Taves I guess is Taves gonna throw a tantrum right now I need to just try not to move unless I absolutely have to keep my movement to a very still minimum I think that'll help me make more saves dumped in by stall open oh and finally Jordan stall he elects to take a shot, and what do you know? He beats him on the blocker side, and we have cut the lead to three to two. It's really embarrassing that I'm having to say cut the lead to three to two, because really this game should be two to one Hurricanes right now. I'm trying so hard not to blow up at the AI in this game. It, I, something has definitely changed in my opinion. Oh my, oh my God. Why would you turn it over in? Just, you know, there's no point in whining about it. It's just, this is just bad. This game is just so bad. Dude, I started this series so optimistic, and it has just gone downhill. I guess the only thing to do is maybe piss off management enough that somehow the game sends me down to a level that I can actually compete at. Well, life is just a series of choices, and I'm starting to regret my choice to start this series up for NHL 23. It's... It's frustrating. I, I can't even come off the post. I'm pressing the button and he's not even detaching from the post. I'm going to keep my depth in the crease this low. Yeah, look, that worked. Maybe I just need to keep it really low in the crease. Sending out an SOS to the goaltending world. I need help. What's it going to take to have one decent game? Not even great, just decent. Just a decent game. That's all I'm asking for. It's all I wish for for my birthday. It's not even my birthday. So a little experiment time. We're gonna play the rest of this game by playing this much depth in our crease. 
I'm not coming out way up to the top of the red paint. Right there, just stay right here deep in the blue paint. The rest of the game. See how we play. If it has any benefits for us. Netches is on a breakaway. I didn't even realize. I looked up and, of course, when we get the breakaway, the AI goaltender makes a save. I don't know if Netches came in off a line change or what. I was busy paying attention to myself and then I looked up and he was gone. He was just completely gone in the clear. Third period coming up. It's last chance to get it together before this game finally will expire. What is it going to take to just have a 900 save percentage game? Obviously, it's going to take making enough saves to get to a 900 save percentage, but I need AI help. I need support in a big way. I need to just simplify this. Depth in the crease. Does it work? Oh, well, I think we made a save on that. Get back on your feet. Teravainen can't even do a basic deke. And now Pesci. Rebound was there. It just kicked away from Teravainen. and that's unfortunate. I've got this. Show you guys how it's done. Or not. Of <laughs> Pesci. Dude, now get up there and play. De this is what... That's what I get for... That's what I get for blocking Pesci. Dude, I can't even move. I can't push across on one-timers. I kid you not. I, ca I have no chance on making a save on those. Good. This, this, this fan base is brutal. They are going to boo me right out of the arena. I think you should be booing Pesci. Where was Pesci going on that play, first of all? He got backed in because of me, but then he didn't step up to play any kind of defense. When in doubt, blame your friends. Blame your friends. Don't blame yourself. I'm, I'm never responsible for any of Puck's that gets past me. I'm sure popcorn's gonna help the fans feel a lot better. Yeah, that's it's really gonna do it. Make you forget all about your woes. You know the, the little device that they break out in Men in Black 2 where they erase their memory? I need that thing right now. I really need it. It's Retro Night. I can't lose on Retro Night, but we are. There's no coming back in this game. My God, we almost let that one in. And we, we did make the save. And we've taken a penalty just to make matters worse. I'm going to put the, the Blackhawks on the power play. And it's Andrei Svechnikov taking this slashing penalty. EA, we need the feature where you can smash your stick against the goalpost as a goalie when you get frustrated. I need to be able to do that. It would be better than taking my rage out on actual physical objects in the room. I, d I have no words now. I don't. I don't even know what to say. I'm still in the net. It's six to two. I've had one of the worst games imaginable and I've tried to make saves. I just have not gotten any help from this game. Well, the seats are getting more and more empty as the minutes goes by. <laughs> Look at all the empty seats already. The fans have had enough. You know, as a young goalie, there's growing pains and then there's just whatever the hell this is that we're going through right now. I, I don't know what it is. The struggle couldn't be any more real. And picked up by Jarvis. One-timers missing the net galore. Picked up by Bear. Whatever that was. Teed up with a nine iron. And we finally score. Seth Jarvis. I don't care at this point. Not interested. We're, we're trying now. We have decided it, it is time to try. Down six to three. The effort is finally on. Play the offense. They've gotten real desperate. Where was the desperation when it was three to one? When it was three to two? I tried to start these games with an open mind, but I, I mean that open-mindedness is is about gone. And we get another one. Andre Svechnikov trying to make it interesting. And again, I just I don't care. Here comes Coach Dum Dum with the goalie pull. Which there's no point in pulling the goalie. We're not scoring two goals to get this game tied. I'm just gonna watch it from here because there, there's no point. Yep, save. Just why? Why does a save matter? A save percentage is gone. It's in the toilet. I'm amazed. They have not pulled me yet. There's 30 seconds left in the game. Down two. You're not pulling me. Coach Dum Dum heard what I said about him, and he's decided that it's not worth pulling me now. The game will pull me when the Blackhawks have possession at the red line. And that's just the way this game works out. I know it will. This has not been the way we wanted to start off at home, but there's nothing I can do about it. This series... It's going to be brutal for a few seasons. If you didn't think the save percentage could get any worse, it, it got way worse in that game. <laughs> There's nothing that needs to be spoken about it. This We need to find something out difficulty or slider-wise in a hurry. But I told you, season one is going to be about like this. Oh, finally, a trait point, maybe. My saving grace, a trait point. All right, well, what do we need? 
Maybe, maybe just work on, on glove and stick low. Sure, why not? That's what we've upgraded. Another big game coming up. We really need you to take this one over. Is that because you guys are going to give up breakaways and odd man rushes and two on ones and whatnot? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever the team wants. <laughs> just get yourself in the three stars. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get myself in the three stars. Sure. The only way I get myself in the three stars is I cheese the difficulty. And I don't really want to do that, but I am hellbound and determined to do whatever I need to do. Okay, well, we'll see you in the next episode for a game against the Columbus Blue Jackets. I don't know what the solution is for this series. Is there a saving grace for this series? I think the only solution really at this point is to, to alter sliders. There is one change I have in mind, and it's to change the game speed. Um, and, and tweak a few things, but I don't really, I don't know what to do because this is just, this is just as bad as the first season with the Goldie series in NHL 22, but Hey, I'm going to hang in there and I'm going to ride this season out. And if you guys can stick with me, hopefully we can make it w worth it and rewarding in the future with this series.